Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I filmed a Kendall Jenner inspired look for you guys. And first things first, I'm going in with a primer. This will ensure that everything stays in place and moisturizes my face. And then I'm going in with the Anastasia Clear Bow Gel and I'm just lifting those hairs up. Now I'm going in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in light medium and I'm just using this as a primer and base. Then I'm going in with my Morphe E8 brush and I'm just blending that in. Now to set that concealer, I'm taking the lightest shade in the contour kit and I'm using a Sigma fluffy brush and I'm just placing that all over my lids. Just to ensure that there's no creasing and to help the other shades blend in well. And now I'm going in with this color in the Anastasia kit and I'm just blending that in in my crease and windshield wiper motions. And this is just defining the crease and adding some structure to it. Then I'm going in with Anastasia Beverly Hills Single Shadow in the color Amber. This is a beautiful gold and I'm just lightly placing that on my lid. You don't want to take like MAC Fix Plus or anything because Kendall's eyes are very, very subtle. Now I'm going in with the Matte and Poreless Foundation by Maybelline and I'm just dabbing that in with the Beauty Blender. And then for the first time I tried the Laura Mercier Eye Basics in Eye Brightening. And this is like a pale blue, but I applied way too much. So, yeah, just make sure not to apply that much. And then I'm just going in with my Shape Tape Concealer. And this will brighten and conceal my under eye. And again, I'm blending that in with an E8 brush from Morphe. Now I'm just going to set that concealer with the lightest shade in the contour kit and with my Real Technique setting brush. Now I'm going in with the Bobbi Brown Stick Foundation and it was a little too warm for me but Kendall's face is very bronzy so I, I found a way to make it work. So I went in with uh, my Beauty Blender and then I went in back with this angled blush brush from Sephora because it just wasn't blending in that well. I mean, this is the first time I tried the product. I think it's okay. It's not bad, but I definitely have other cream foundation foundation sticks that blend better. And then I'm going in with the Essie Lauder bronzer and make sure to tap the excess off and I'm bronzing the skin just a little more. Now I'm going in with the Becca blush and I'm adding some color to the cheeks. And then I'm going in with my Tarte lipstick and my tie, and this really pulls in the look together. I'm obsessed with this color. It's such a pretty warm orangey red. And I hope you guys enjoyed this Kendall Jenner tutorial. Please like and subscribe for future videos, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!